At more than 4,500 kilometres long, the Mekong is the biggest river in Southeast Asia and the most controversial. Governments build dams to harness its hydropower and produce electricity. They say dams control the water, preventing flood or drought. China opened a dam in 2016 when Vietnam was desperately short of water. But environmentalists claim they can interfere with fish stocks on which millions downstream depend for food and reduce flow needed to irrigate the rice fields. Managing these competing demands is a difficult job, but it's one that this organization, the Lanchang Mekong Cooperation, is tackling head on. Many say great progress has been made in only a short time. Looking to develop growing cooperation between Mekong nations is the Chinese Premier Li Keqiang. He's leading discussions here in partnership with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen. Government leaders from the remaining four nations are also attending. In 2017, Chinese investment in countries along the Lansang Mekong River increased by 20 percent. Bilateral trade increased by 16 percent and personnel exchanges increased by about 80 percent. This mechanism is pushing cooperation to a new level. Uh, Mekong and Lanchan River, we so-called like uh, the river for peace and for is, I mean, uh, a sustainability growth uh, as well as the economies. The LMC is the only body that includes all six countries the Mekong flows through. China, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam. My view is that we need to focus on developing the river with a sense of responsibility and sustainability, taking into account the needs of each country. After little more than two years of operation, the LMC created by China has already brought Mekong countries closer together. After little more than two years of operation, the LMC created by China has already brought Mekong countries closer together. Reaching consensus is a key aim, and a contentious move to dynamite rocks to clear a route for shipping has been put on hold whilst more investigations take place. Martin Lowe, CGTN.